Hey, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? I'm feeling a lot better myself. I hope everyone is doing well and sticking to their New Year's resolution. Today, we will be taking a look at a 3D printed updated map box. Let you know right now, it's not my creation. Where I got it from, I will leave a link down in the description so you can check it out and give that dude a small donation if you like it to keep wonderful things like this coming. So let me um, give you a look at the parts. Uh, here we got the, the lens adapter part. Um, we have the screws already installed. I 3D printed a lens adapter myself. Um, for some reason, in Thingiverse, if you um, try to make a circle, it always comes out like this. But this goes into here and these screws tighten down to um, hold it in place. For me to use these that came with my um, teleprompter, for me to use um, various size lenses to hold the teleprompter. So this will go here and I can screw the lens on it, still blocking light from the rear of the camera and the lens. Also, I already pressed the nuts in here, um, all four of them. I just wanted to get things ready for this video. I didn't want to see me struggling too much. Also, I don't know what's up with this screw hole at the bottom. I tried it M10, it's too large. I tried it M8, it's too small. So I just um, hot glued this bracket on. Next, we have the lens holder. Uh, I decided to do the one um, for the four times four or 100 by 100 millimeters. Get those filters. Here's the main body. And you see how the back is um, pretty shiny. That's because I stopped using um, glue sticks. I started using this other stuff. I have no idea where it is right now. I had it earlier. Um, but I put a link to it also down in this description it's called, um, I f actually I forget what it's called, the, net, the actually brand name of it. But uh, it's um, bed weld, it's um, liquid, it looks like shoe polish. Um, you just put it, spread it out, heat your bed up, and you're good to go. It is excellent. I wish I would have known about this a lot sooner because uh, you, like I said, it gives it a mirror finish and it's designed while it's hot, it's real sticky. It keeps your parts on the bed. Once it cool off, you can just walk up, pick it up, come right off, no issue. Again, I'll put a link in the description to that. Now we have the um, flag holder. See how good that looks. We have the lens um, cover. I, I forget what exactly what it's called, but it goes on the um, front of the body, main body. And we have the flag itself. Mountain Breeze Studios. That's who uh, made this um, map box. But again, I will leave a link to everything in the description. I will be 3D printing even more stuff. So you might want to like and subscribe to my channel. I also do other um, tech stuff as well with computers, gaming, whatever. Finally, we have these spacers. I have an extra one because one of them um, Actually, it's this one. I don't know if you can see it. It's warped um, from using the um, glue sticks. One side came unstuck. And you can see these right here. And this one is perfect, perfectly square. That bed weld really works. What else do I have here? Also, I have the um, knob for the flag. I always push the screw in and use some hot glue to keep it there and I'll use this to um, mount 
the um, map box to my rig. Now let's get started and get this thing together. Let me grab the main body here. These will be the uh, screws I'm using, some M3 screws. Place those in. Hopefully these stay in place. Two of them did. Next will be these. But let me get these uh, stuff a little bit out of the way so you won't get confused. Let me just move this. So you won't get confused. Uh, Place in like so. so. We got these little um, nubbings right here that goes into these nubbings here. One for the other side. And then this here goes on top. Actually, this thing is pretty simple. So let me stick this screw in. Grab the correct Allen key and see can I get the bolt started. Let's give it a couple of turns. Start until I start to feel some resistance at this other bolt. Get it started. Stop when I feel some resistance. Repeat on this side, but I need to put this back. There we go. Throw this bolt in. Get it started. Stop when I feel some resistance, and I'll do the same with this one. Okay, all the bolts in, let me snug this one down. Snug this one down. Don't need to apply the strength of Hercules here. It's lightly snug, should be okay. Honestly, so far this looks pretty good. Like I mentioned earlier about this, this goes in here. These down, hold it in place. Okay. so far looking good and this is the um filter um holder this is just it's only hold one filter at a time i do have one i'm planning on investigating where you can um use multiple filters there we go that goes in there like that Like what I see so far. Next, let's go ahead and um, attach the um, 15 millimeter rail adapter. That's what I'm going to call it. Already um, pressed the bolt in right here. Have a lock washer and a regular washer. Here. I need to get some hardware so I can tighten this down. I have it, but I forgot to put it in. I'll do that later. Getting a little ahead of myself there, slow down a little bit.
leave it lightly snug. I made it um adjustable to go up and down to ensure I get a uh, perfect lens alignment. At least I did that right. Now, but the final piece. The land, the flag, we're gonna assemble that, but let me place this in here. This is where this goes. Like that. Now let's get this together. I already um, pressed the screw in right here to make things easier on camera. Hopefully easier. Uh, let's see how this goes. Okay. This man like so. Got this leveled look straight. And let's put this here. Yes. Got those. Nice snug, and this the slide that slides down onto the main body. Evenly, yeah, there we go. It's on evenly. And it's fully assembled. But one thing I just noticed I put the flag on upside down. Let's swing that around. Uh -oh. Get this put back in here. There that go. And this is the and this is the top of the main body and let's put it in correctly. There we go. Now it's fully assembled. That's how that looks. It's pretty good. But you know what? Let me put this on my camera rig. This is what it is, not too shabby. And it costs me very little. I already had a 3D printer. The 3D printer cost me 400 bucks and the material was less than $20. You're like, wait a minute, $400, I can get a matte box cheaper. But this is not the only thing I printed. Over time, 3D printer paid for itself. I printed all kind of things, bro. Speaker adapters for my car. Um. A lot of things escape me at the moment. Um, C clamps, um, cheese plates, etc. If I was to buy all that stuff, it would cost me way more than uh, $400. But I know one of my life stands, the uh, little plastic clip broke. I just easily printed out another one. Kept right on filming. But anyway, I'm getting off track. But this is what it is. Um, I'm going to get a magic arm to attach it right here to my rig. Um, that kind of defeat the purpose of quick changing lenses. But I have different size lenses anyway. So I would need a different adapter for each lens. Because this map box is supposed to attach directly to your cinema lens. Um, because all of them the same size, I think they're about like 100 millimeters, maybe 80. And you can just tighten down the screws, and it holds it on, loosen the screws, pull it off, change the lens, put it back on, tighten the screws back down. Sounds pretty good, don't it? Sadly, I can't do that because, like I said, uh, many of my lenses are different sizes, like this one. 
Man, I have it. it. It looks like a lens from the side, but it's not. It's not at all. It's just the regular um, kit lens. I think it's for the S5, the 20 to 60 millimeter. And I think the 24 to 1, whatever, is for the S1. Because I also got lenses like this one here, which is a MD mount um, manual lens. No, for that old school look. But that's what it is. It's a little bit uh, smaller than this lens. So that's why I decided to go with um, using these um, plates from my um, teleprompter. They all the same size on the outside, but you but see they're very thin. So I have to make something to go onto these, then the matte box. I don't know how sturdy I can make that. Um, right now, I really don't have no idea what exactly I can do because I have a couple of ideas but they are not going to work. Maybe you have better luck if you have cinnamon lenses. Uh, once again, this is my rig with the flag on it. Boom. Look nice, don't it? I look professional? I think I do. Bye, bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the information in this video useful. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. And share this video with anyone who can benefit. But if I missed something, dislike this video and leave a comment letting me know what I did wrong. I welcome constructive criticism. Also, you can follow me on the social medias at Tech Minute.